Chief. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to everyone out there in Facebook land. My name is Chief Master Sergeant Lewis Reyes, and I am your exchange's senior enlisted advisor. Today, man, we got a special guest, very special guest. Obviously, you know, we usually do these on Tuesdays and Thursdays, but today's Friday because he's special. But before we get to our guest, <laughs> Leah, Judy, how you ladies doing? Doing so good, Chief. How so are you? Good? Doing great, doing great. Let's get right to it. Judy, you mind introducing our guest? I am so, so, so excited about today's guest. We have NFL royalty here with us today, y'all. Our friends at PNG helped make this possible to boost morale for our military community. Our guest is a three-time Super Bowl champion and one of the best tight ends to ever play in the National Football League. He played nine seasons with the New England Patriots and recently announced he was coming out of retirement and joining the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. We are thrilled he's here with us. Please welcome the one and only Rob Gronkowski. Hello guys, how you doing? Thank you for the introduction. Uh, everything's going well, uh, doing good, staying safe. Uh, how you guys doing? Doing good, excited to have you with us, Gronk. I'm excited, I'm pumped up. I don't know, I'm ready, Gronk, 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 Gronk. Let's get this going, man, let's get this going. Gronk Nation in the house. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Gronk, so thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to be with us. We're super excited to have you. And I know everybody watching, you're excited as well. Drop a note in the comments, let us know where you're watching from. And if you have any questions for Rob throughout this broadcast, we'll be reading them out loud live. And if you don't follow us, you should, because Chief Chats are every Tuesday and Thursday. We have special guests lined up for months, so follow us. And now is a good time to start your watch party to enjoy this with your friends. Hey, let's get this going. Gronk, thank you so much for joining us. Of course, we're honored to have you with us here today. So just tell us, where are you at today? Where are you coming to us from? And tell us a little bit about how you've been spending your time during this pandemic. Uh, no problem, man. No problem. Uh, <laughs> right to it, baby. So I'm actually currently outside in the Boston area. I am currently in Foxborough, Massachusetts right now, uh, just residing here, hanging out, working out, staying in shape, uh, doing my workouts. Um, I'm lucky enough to have a, a workout facility in my basement. So I've been still grinding, been getting my workouts in, running in the backyard, doing all that good stuff, uh, swimming. Uh, I love doing a lot of activities, playing cornhole. I have played tons of <laughs> cornhole during this pandemic. Let me tell you, like, I love that game. And another game I love is ping pong. I've been playing a lot of ping pong too. And then one more other game. I mean, I've been playing a lot. One other game that I've been majorly playing is air hockey. No. Oh yes. Air like hockey. The one from no, the, the no, one no, from the no, thing. No, no, like... no, 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 not air hockey, bubble hockey. I always get confused. Bubble <laughs> hockey. Bubble hockey. Yes. What, what is that? that? Yeah, so it's like in a bubble, and then uh, a puck pops out, and you, you control these stick figure guys, and, and you go at it. It's, you'll know what it is if you wow. saw it. <laughs> I know Sounds what fun. He's <laughs> <laughs> I think I know what he's talking about, too. Yes. So Excellent. that's what's going on. Yeah. <laughs> oh, a lot of games. I, I like to find things. And I just actually, right before I came on, I'm doing this Lego. Uh, someone sent us these Legos, like of my girlfriend and I, and you got to put all these pieces of Legos together. And it's a picture of my girlfriend and I. So uh, I was just doing it. I was just going to town. I did it for like the last hour. So it just gives me something to do. I've just been looking for things to do, man. Just trying to stay busy. And, and, and another thing I, I like to catch on to TV shows. I really don't get to watch too much TV, but uh, when I catch on the show, I love catching on the show, so I've been watching the Ozarks. Ooh, that's a good one. Yeah, oh. that's a good one. I'm, on, I'm on season hour, three, episode two. Which one are you on? Yeah, I'm on season one, episode. Oh, like oh, I, I ain't gonna spoil it. Yeah, I'm, gonna spoil I'm, it. I'm way behind. <laughs> and then also, I watched the whole uh, season of Outer Banks. You guys ever seen Outer Banks? No, um, but I'll add it to my watch list. Oh yeah, it's pretty good. A great, great show. Another good show. Excellent. Sounds like you're having a lot of fun. So you grew up in an athletic family and played several sports growing up, but you're best known for your incredible football career. You've been a part of three Super Bowl championship teams. What's been your favorite memory from your time in the NFL? Oh, I would say Super Bowl 49. Uh, it was my first Super Bowl I've ever won. It was versus Seattle Seahawks. And if you guys remember that game, it went right down to the wire, right when the Malcolm Butler had that interception to seal the deal. 
I mean, what a Super Bowl that was. We were down. We came back. Then and that have that ending right there where Malcolm Butler had that interception. It, it was a, it was up and down with the emotions. But let me tell you, I had a touchdown too, um, in the second quarter on on the, the final two minute drive, uh, a fade route on a linebacker. So that was that was definitely special to score in that game and help the team win. But Wow, what a memory that was. That was my second Super Bowl I was a part of at the time, but it was my first Super Bowl that I won. Mm -hmm. So what an incredible memory. I'll, I'll remember that game for the rest of my life. Rob, we know you're a big supporter of the military. And a few years back, you actually came down to our exchange at Fort Hood and you met with the fans and you helped us spread the word about a new online shopping benefit for veterans. You've been such a good friend to the exchange and to the military and our troops would love to hear some words of inspiration from you. What you got? Nah, man, uh, you know, uh, just love giving back without you guys uh, to have the possible freedom to go out and play the game a football that I love to do, it wouldn't be possible. So I just want to say thank you guys for everything you do. Thank you for fighting for our freedom so I can go out there and play the game of football. Uh, but, <clears throat> you know, with the New England Patriots and, and everything too, when I was there, uh, you know, we kind of, you know, learned a lot about, um, you know, the military and, and, and things like that. And there would be a lot of special forces guys that come in and you know would watch us train. That would give us tips and everything. But I don't want I don't want to say they're they're similar uh, being in the military, <clears throat> but and be also being in an NFL program. But they do have their similarities for sure. Uh, you got to work together uh, as a team. You got to have a you got to <clears throat> you all have one mission, and that's to win the game, and that's to do whatever your guys' mission is, whatever your op is to do. So it's kind of similar in ways. So uh, you just got to go out there and do the best that you can do. Uh, focus on your job so you, the guy next to you can rely on you. And that's crucial. When you hit the battlefield, when you hit the field, you want to make sure you're reliable out there. And that's when uh, – that's huge. So going out to practice, going out to the weight room, to show the, show the guy next to you that you're always ready to go, that you're willing to go, that you're willing to do anything for the team to help win. And that's what it's all about. And whenever you get knocked back down, get right back up, baby. That's what you got to do. It's, it, it's not how many times you got knocked down. It's how many times you got back up. Ooh, great words of inspiration right there. That is awesome. Thanks a lot, Thank Bronco. You, I'm ready to run through a wall. Let's do it. Hey, <laughs> I, I, I'm ready to run through. I'll run up through a wall with you, but then we got to play cornhole. I'm going to challenge you to cornhole. I think I can take oh, you. I love cornhole. Let's I don't know play. if your skills are right there. I don't know. I think I got you. I think I got you. Let's play. Uh, <laughs> hey, <whoop>. <laughs> <laughs> so a lot of comments, a lot of people are, are, are saying hello. Uh, um, it's, it's just flowing. A lot of questions, a lot of comments. So I got a guest here, a special guest here. Jason, unmute yourself. Say what's up to Gronk. He's a big fan. Go ahead, Jason. Floor is yours. You got some questions you can ask. All right. Big thanks to Chief. Big thanks to AFES uh, and, uh, of course, PNG as well. And big thanks to Gronk. Look at that. For three of those. Appreciate it, brother. Yes. No <laughs> problem, man. You're welcome, Jason. <laughs> Originally from Danvers, Mass. So, uh down here in Virginia, first of all. So if you're ever in Virginia, let's get a beer. So first question I have for you, you talked about your workout. Obviously workouts are super important for the military as well. So I was curious if you're doing like the TB12 method or if you're doing a more traditional type workout. Oh, uh, you know, I added both. I add both into my, uh, my workout regime. Uh, but the TB12 method is all about staying pliable, all about staying loose. And that's what it's all about. You got to stay loose. You can't be tight. Uh, you can't be dense. When that happens, you can't, you don't really have that type of movement that you really want as an athlete. So that method is, is incredible. I love doing it. It helps me out big time, keeps me loose on the field, keeps me uh, limber, uh, you know, uh, which, which I love. And the top, the workouts that the TB12 method kind of imply are <clears throat> your stability muscles. And without the stability muscles, you really can't build on top of how you really want to build. It's kind of like putting the foundation of the house, which is the stability of the house. You got to build that first in order to build the big pieces. So I love doing my stability workouts, uh, like, our, like the TV 12 banded workouts to keep my body stable, to keep it functioning the way it needs to be functioned. And then every once in a while, just like once or twice a week, um, I love to put that, you know, the, the traditional heavy bench, uh, dumbbell bench or belt squat, uh, or whatever it is, uh, a little bit more heaviness onto my body to build that, you know, to build that house that's on top of the stability. So I love adding both. I think it's great to do both, but stability workouts are, in my book, 
that I, that through my experiences are number one key thing to do first and then build on when your body is ready for the next level. Awesome. Yeah, I, I bought it for Christmas and it's just so happened with COVID, you know, gym shut down. It's been absolutely awesome. Uh, right. So the second question I had um, was, you know, I heard rumor that you don't spend any of your paycheck. You live completely off uh, sponsorship. Is that true? And if so, what are you investing in? Yes, yes, I have. Um, I have uh, for sure. Um, you know, I was fortunate enough to, you know, r racking some deals from the beginning of my NFL career, which is which is very cool. I'm very fortunate and very thankful, uh, definitely. And uh, it's always good to save. I mean, look at the times right now, too. Look what happens. I mean, I'm, you know, I'm fortunate enough to be in a situation where I'm, I'm good to go and, and I'm out during these pandemic situations. So you just never know what may happen. Um, in my investing things, I, I mean, I don't go too crazy at all. You know, I'm a little bit in the stock market, a uh, couple, you know, real estate things there and there. Yeah, but I keep it pretty simple. Uh, and, you know, I just tend to, you know, buy things that I just tr truly, you know, uh, need in life. You know, I'm a simple guy. My, my father, my parents, they're very simple. Uh, you know, I like to splurge, you know, when I feel like, you know, I'm very safe in a safe zone and I can splurge. And uh, another couple of things I like to do is, um, is mut mutual uh, municipal bonds. That's another good one I like to do. You know, it's safe, it's effective, and uh, it's easy. Yeah. Hey, that's yeah, all. Hey, let, me, let me tell you yeah, the truth. You, let me Jason. tell you the truth. Oh, yeah, the, the other question. <laughs> Jason, Jason's going to Jason's gonna stay on with us, but the truth was he really wanted to ask you about being the white tiger on the mass Singer. Oh, okay. and how was that? That's man, what he really wanted. That, I like that question, man. But man, let me tell you, being the white tiger was something. First off, putting that, you know, putting that whole outfit on, I'm telling you, I was sweating. Like the first 10 steps you walk, you're sweating all over the place and you can barely <laughs> see through the costume. So like when I'm out there, and I was performing, and, you know, you do a couple practice runs just to get used to it and everything. And I'm like, how am I going to pull this off? Like, I can barely move in there or anything. And dude, the adrenaline gets flowing. You, I pulled it off and, and performed and everything. But let me tell you, I was drenched from that top of my head to my toes and just sweat. <laughs> like, oh, it, it was it was crazy. Just how hot you are, you can barely see. It's another experience. Uh, you know, it's another way to kind of build up your cardio because that you're just so hot you're it's like you're in a sauna but you're also dancing with all that with all with the whole costume on so i love being the, on the mass thing i love being the white tiger and also you kind of learn a new skill set and that's singing let me tell you when i started off at first i was the worst ever so you know i'm glad i'm thankful to have the opportunity to learn how to sing better than where i was it's still not so great but i love doing it and i gave it my best I mean, you were great on that show. I loved you. I was going, I was rooting for you all the way. Thank you. <laughs> I gave it my best. My dance moves were good. My singing they was were. all right. My singing <laughs> was so, fierce. so. <laughs> awesome. Gronk, so in the military, they have a, you know, fit to fight theme and everybody's looking at how to stay healthy, how to, how to look at nutrition. So what is your approach to nutrition? Do you have a go-to health? meal or healthy snack you'd like to share oh wow uh you know uh there's there's a lot of things that i've learned about nutrition throughout my career and i, I believe nutrition is a big part uh to keep on playing uh throughout your nfl career i mean when you're young you know you really don't know too much i didn't know too much about my nutrition i've learned throughout the time and i basically you know kind of follow a rule of, of plants you know if, if, if it's mm -hmm. grown uh you know, you don't want any of the, uh, what, whatever, the uh, like the hormones, the genetically mm -hmm. made hormones or whatever, whatever it's, whatever those are called. Again, mm -hmm. I, I don't even know. I, I like to stay away mm -hmm. from like the chemicals that, that, pr that produce mass amounts of, of plants. I, I like it, you know, grown naturally, my food grown naturally. I, I like to eat plants. I like to stick to, I like meat. I love, I do love meat. I like to eat organic meat. Uh, that, you know, I believe that is grass fed, like about once a week, I like to do that. But overall, you know, if, it, if it's from a plant, I like to eat it. Uh, it tastes good. And I, I love to like make veggies. It's my favorite thing to make veggies on a pan with like olive oil and, and Himalayan salt. Let me tell you, if you don't like your veggies, you're going to love your veggies then. 
You mm-hmm. you cook your veggies in him in Himala- with Himalayan salt and like olive oil or avocado oil, and let me tell you, it's delicious. And then I got these cheap. I got. I mean, I, you know, you gotta love your cheap meals and stuff. But like ice cream, uh, I got ice cream, but it's made out of cashew milk instead of uh, regular mm-hmm. milk, so it tastes just as delicious. Uh, but there's like little tricks and trades like that that I just do to to keep me nutritious and keep me rocking because let me tell you as an athlete you got to be fueled at all times to be going and burn the amount of calories we burn the amount of energy we need so uh just got to be going 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 and so i just like to put natural food in my body but i put a lot of it in my body though too because i'm always burning calories and my favorite one of my other favorite things is is uh is avocado toast. Oh, let me mm, tell you. Avocado I love toast. some avocado toast. Oh, with some, oh, uh, y'all. With, some ol- with some olive oil on top of the avocado, maybe a mm. little, little lemon, maybe some eggs in the morning too. You should jump on a cooking wow. show. It sounds like you need to be mm. on Chopped or something or, or oh, one of those yeah. Iron Chef. No, I mean, I keep it simple, I keep it simple for sure. And then uh, I keep it real simple. It, it, it's real easy. Uh, maybe throw a sweet potato in the oven Ooh. have a have a veggie burger that I cook on the stove too with olive oil cook a couple veggies on the stove with olive oil nice broccoli and then have a sweet potato that and then you have some fruit and boom you hit the whole meal out right there but let me tell you about my protein shakes too I do almond butter uh almond milk I start with then I put like literally like 400 calories of almond butter because I gotta I, I gotta stay big I, I you know, like th- this is my mass shake to keep my weight on 400 calories of almond butter I put in. Uh, uh, it's with almond milk or oat milk. I use uh, pea protein, which are uh, vanilla pre protein, pea protein, chocolate pea protein, mm-hmm. delicious. Uh, so good. Uh, oats, I put oats in with it. I do blueberries. I do a banana and then I put some dates in it too. And then some chia seeds and some flax seeds. Oh, it's like probably like 1200 calories and it's so good. It's so good. <laughs> It sounds delicious, Gronk, but uh, so, you know, you're, you're fueling up because you just came out of retirement to play with Tampa. Let's get to this. You'll be playing okay. again with Tom Brady. What did yeah. you miss most about the game while you were retired, and what are you most looking forward to this upcoming season? Man, what I miss most about the game is just uh, being around the guys. You know, you got that team atmosphere. You're part of something special. Uh, you can only really get that in the, in the game of sports. So just being around the locker room, man, you miss the guys. You miss the jokes. You miss the stories. Uh, so it's going to be back, you know. Uh, I got to wait a little bit extra longer because usually there's an offseason, so you get to be in the locker room with the guys in the offseason, but there hasn't been an offseason yet. Uh, it got canceled due to the pandemic, but um, I'm looking forward to starting the season. Uh, we report July 28th as of now. Uh, hopefully everything stays on track, um, and I'm just excited to get back on the field, man. Uh, miss playing the game of football too, so I'm just go- excited to get, get out there, make some plays, catch some football, score some touchdowns, you know, spike some balls, uh, do, do all the good things again and, and just go out there and, and just enjoy it. So Rob, your fans are equally excited for you to get back on the field. What will the game be like for you if the pandemic forces games to be played without fans inside the stadium? Wow. How do you think the game's going to change? Uh, it'll change a little bit. Uh, definitely. I, I would say that you're going to have to find another like uh, source of energy with inside you because, you know, having the fans there, they get always get you juiced up. Uh, you can always pull some energy from the people in the crowd, but if there's going to be no fans, uh, you got to find another way to, to get that momentum going, to get that energy going. Uh, it's kind of, you know, maybe treat it like a practice, like a, like a scrimmage, maybe, you know, sometimes uh, you got to, maybe you can treat it like that. It's definitely going to change the game in ways because the offense, when you're on the road, you sometimes like, you can't even hear five feet within five feet. So everything turns to sign language. So maybe that's not going to be a case this year. The offense is just going to be able to talk. There's not going to have to be any sign language this year because you're not going to be at, in a stadium full of fans where you can't hear anything within five feet. So that's going to change. Definitely. It'll make it easier on offense because it's not going to be loud. Uh, and also just, I would just say getting that juice going is probably the main thing. So you just got to pull it. You got to find another way, you know, just got a mm-hmm. picture in your mind. Uh, I'm sure they may pump stadium crowd, you know, stadium noise crowd into the fans. I'm, I'm not really sure about that yet, but that could be an idea mm-hmm. too. Just so it's like, you feel like there's people in the stands and, and everything like that. But uh, you know, I'm just, you know, I'm just glad to be playing the game of football again. So if there's no fans, you know, I'm just going to have to make it spectacular for the people at home then. 
Exactly. And Gronk, one of the fun things about you is that you're so active on social media. Where can we find you and follow along? Oh, at Rob Gronkowski on my Twitter and at Gronk um, on my uh, Instagram page. And I have a TikTok too, at Rob Gronkowski. So TikTok. Uh, oh, we know. We know you yes. have TikTok. We were checking oh, you out on TikTok. Oh, right. so you, you were watching my dance moves and stuff like that. All they right. were watching you. They were watching you at the pool. They sent me some video of you at the pool doing so. I was like, what is this? <laughs> oh, I don't know what you're... oh, yeah. You, I just never know what I'm going to put up. You never know. You just never know. Check him out, guys. Check him out. Follow me at Gronk on Instagram. Let's go. (laughs) So a couple of uh, Gronk, of course, a couple of questions from the field here. Are you going to be the highest point producing tight end in fantasy this year? If so, I'll pick you up. You know, I I hope so, baby. You know, (laughs) that means I'm scoring touchdowns, catching passes, moving the chains, getting first downs. If that's the case, I'll take it, baby. That's Mm -hmm. let's do it. Let's go. We're shooting for that. Hey, Jason, you got another question for him while you're on? Uh, Pats, uh, Pats and Bucks in the Super Bowl. Who's gonna win? <laughs> oh! They say Pats, Bucks in the Super Bowl. <laughs> who's gonna win? Yeah. Oh Who, man. Who's got it? Who's got it? That would be crazy if that happens. That would be crazy. <laughs> but you know, I'm gonna have to go with the home team. No, the Bucks. Because I see what you did. That there. would be a home game then. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> hey uh, Rick one more quick question somebody Sarah wants me to ask about your wrestling experience I didn't know you wrestled was that, was uh, that I was I did a little thing with the WWE this year uh I went on Smackdown on Friday night one night and then I did the WWE Wrestlemania uh this year I, I hosted a little bit but I also got involved uh and I won the 24-7 title belt and 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 kept it for about 45 days too which was pretty cool wow what? Did you yeah. do like a D- was it suplex the DDT? What did you do? Like, yeah, so so here we go. So <laughs> so I'm hosting WrestleMania, and you know everything just got a little messed up because everything just went into pandemic mode. So you know there was no fans allowed. So we had it. So it all just got shifted. So I was supposed to be in the battle. I think the Royal Rumble, where everyone's in the ring at the same time, throwing people out. But that couldn't happen anymore either. So we had to find a new thing. You know, a little new thing for me to do. So I'm hosting and, and then uh, Vince McMahon comes over and he's like, Hey man, you can, you know, you want to win, you're going to win the 24 seven belt and, and all this. And I was like, Oh, all right, sweet. And he, I was like, what do I got to do? And he's like, we're going to, you're going to jump off this platform, which was 12 feet high. And I'm going to land on the guy, take him out and pin him <laughs> for the belt. And I was like, I'm going to jump off the 12 feet platform. He's like, you want me to do it first? And I was like, sure. And he, and Vince McMahon comes over. He's old. He's, he's older now. He's, I think he's in his seventies. Jumps off to a 12 foot platform and, and right onto a pad and goes, that's how it was done. And then I practiced it one time and I was like, okay, I got it. And I ended up jumping off a 12 foot platform onto uh, a defender, on, onto, the, onto my friend who was actually the 24 seven belt champion and took out like eight other people too and pinned them for the, for the belt. It was, it was pretty cool, man. So, you know, is that, hey, that's what it's all about. You got to be a little dangerous when you hit the WWE. <laughs> Hey, Molly, Molly Fanning, you're on here. Check your chat real quick. I think it's almost time. I just want to make sure on the time. I think it's time to wrap up. I know you got another engagement, Gronk. But before we go, I just want the audience to know that tomorrow, uh, um, well, let me let me backtrack. PNG, thanks to Procter & Gamble, of course, for, for, for bringing you on here to the uh, chief chat with the exchange. We appreciate it. On top of that, not only does PNG, you know, help bring guests for the show, they also sponsor the, the virtual, well, the pro camps, which used to be in person, but now it's virtual. And tomorrow... At 9 a.m., you're, you're, you're doing a virtual pro camp for Naval Base Oceana. Is that correct? Yes, that is correct. All right. And then for everyone else, Monday, Fort Sill, Andre Roberts will be doing a virtual camp. Wednesday for Barksdale Air Force Base, Latavius Murray. Saturday, uh, Malcolm Perry's doing one for Fort Riley. And we got many more. So uh, I just wanted to say, Grank, Gronk, Grank. <laughs> I like Gronk. it. I'll, I'll take it. Grank. I'll say, I'm, Grank. I'm, I'm Grank for the day. Yeah. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Let me the Grank for the day. Grank hey, Nation. Hey, Luz. Oh, I mean, Luis. <laughs> so, sorry about that. I was reading ahead. Uh, but uh, thank you so much for spending time with us today. Of course, big thanks to PNG for making this happen. 
I know you know that this means a lot to the military community, you know, the servicemen and women, the family members, the retirees, the veterans, everybody watching, uh, watching out here. Uh, we wish you all the best in your return to the NFL and appreciate you. And so do our airmen, soldiers, sailors, Marines, and our Coast Guard members. So thank you so much. Last words, the floor is yours, Gronk. Yeah, thank you guys for having me. And uh, thank you to all the military personnel out there for keeping our freedom so I can go out there and I can perform on that football field and give back by scoring some touchdowns. So thank you guys all. Tune into my camp tomorrow, 9 a.m., sponsored by P&G. Come on, check it out. Pro camps, teaching the youth um, some drills, going through some exercises. So um, it's good stuff. I'll see you guys all tomorrow, 9 a.m. Once again, thank you guys. I'll see you soon. Thanks, Gronk. Thanks, Gronk. Nice all to right. meet you. Leah. Julie, we love thank you. you guys. Bye. Bye. Thank Bye. you so you. much, Gronk. See you guys Damn. Later. Thank don't forget about the beer. Care. <laughs> Take care. The beer. Yeah, look. Yeah, don't forget about the beer. <laughs> yeah, let's get a beer. The white, the white tiger is out. <laughs> <laughs>